Hi, Stacy with Getting Organized Magazine. I am here in my walk-in closet, which as you can see really isn't that big. And it's probably not the most perfect closet you've ever seen. Here at the magazine, we like to say that we are the real life magazine for real life people. I'm a real life person. This is my real life closet. Now, there's a few problems with this, if you will, as organizational standards go. It is not color coded. I don't have uniform hangers. I do have categories. So I have my short sleeved t-shirts. I have my short sleeved dress shirts. I have my long sleeved clothing. I have pants and dresses over here. And then I have my sweaters that are organized up here. So there is some categories to it, but there isn't uh, the color coding and the extensive organizing that I could do in here. And that's actually what I wanted to talk to you about and tell you a quick story. So one of the organizing tips is to have uniform hangers. And I think that is a great idea for most people. All wood hangers, all plastic hangers, the flocked hangers. To do that means it looks nicer. It also tells you that you're going to have the same amount of space between your clothing, so it's going to line up nicer. I've got every ad hoc hanger in the world in here, so it looks awful and it isn't necessarily spaced appropriately. But this tip is about finding the system that works best for you, and if it doesn't work for you, move on. So I'm going to tell you a story about me trying uniform hangers. There are flocked hangers on the market, which are the rage. Everybody loves them. They are flocked, which means they have just a slight uh, fabric or film on them that allows the clothing to stick on the hanger. Um, they're thin. Everything about them is wonderful. I was so excited. I saw a deal for a couple of boxes. I bought them. I rushed home. I came into my closet. I took all the clothes down. I put them on the flocked hangers, lined everything up. It looked gorgeous. I had extra room in here. Everything was fantastic. The next morning, I walked into the closet to get dressed, <laughs> and this is where the unique, quirky, try your own system part comes in. When I went to grab the piece of clothing that I wanted to wear, it was stuck on the hanger. Turns out that me, when I come in in the morning, I like to just rip my clothing off of the hanger and try it on and, and get going for the day. Now, as you can see, not the best way to do things, but that's me. That's what I do. So the hangers that were flocked and beautiful and wonderful, I, could, I just couldn't get my clothing off of them. Now, a normal person would simply remove the hanger, take off the clothing, and move on. That's not me. I just couldn't get over the fact that I couldn't just walk in here, pull my clothing off, put it on, and get going for the day. So the flocked hangers just didn't work for me. I like my system, and again, not the best, but it works for me. It's how I do things. I didn't want to have to change that. So you know what? I got rid of the flock hangers. I returned them. I went back to my system. It works fine. It's not perfect, but it works fine. Now, another tip that I wanted or story that I wanted to share with you is about a woman that I had heard who had also found a great organizing tip that didn't really work for her. So one of the tips that you may have heard is that you take your shoes and I should use a nicer pair of shoes pair of heels here. So many women have lots of different shoes and one of the tips is to put your shoes into a clear plastic box, put the lid on it, label it, or put a picture of the shoes even better on there so you know what's in there. So you now have your shoes in a clear box that is labeled so you know what's in there. And then you would put them many times on a shelf or uh, down below on the floor or something to that effect. So you would have all your shoes labeled, organized, and in bins. Now this particular woman that was telling me the story, she thought that was a great idea. So she too went out, bought all the boxes, put her shoes into it, labeled it, put pictures on it, thought it was great. Now the problem came that she doesn't like lids, that using a lid to her was just a little too difficult. So she would take the shoe out, pull it out from where she had it, use the shoe, and then put it back in the box, but she'd always forget to put the lid back on. Well, without putting the lid back on, they didn't stack where she needed to put them. So what she ended up with was a closet full of unlidded boxes just scattered throughout the floor <laughs> because she just, that, that technique didn't work for her. So what I want to tell you is that if an organizing technique or system that somebody is recommending to you doesn't work, it's okay to move on. It's okay to say it didn't work. It's okay to try something different. A lot of what organizing is, is finding what works best for you. What works best for me are slippery hangers. 
What works best for the other lady is just an open shoe cutty cabin that she can just slip the shoes in and she didn't have to worry about a lid. So think about your organizing quirks and when you're looking at something or you're working on a system, if it doesn't work for you, it's okay, move on. Stacy with Getting Organized Magazine, have a great day.